Today, I got a little fridge, you know, and I have a little studio here that I like to bring in some drinks and stuff like that, or have my turkey set up for it, or other accessories you could have. And normally I had a smaller fridge. It was half the size of this is. This is a 7.6 cubic, cubic feet, actually, that's what it is. One thing I found out about the fridge right now so far, so when you purchase the fridge, if, it's, if you're gonna travel with the fridge flat, you gotta wait 24 hours before you turn it on. The reason is that pretty much the defrost, the oils are gonna go up to the top and they have to be on the bottom where the engine's at. So uh, what I was told from the store that you can connect it right when you get it off. It has to be standing up straight at least for 24 hours, even longer if it's possible. Um, like I said, you don't wanna ru ruin a brand new item that you just purchased. So those are the things that, that was told. Packing is pretty simple. Um, after you unwrap the plastics that are wrapped around, you go pick up the cardboard from the top, but I don't have the room on the roof here to take this thing out outside and bring it back in here because we're talking about maybe almost 100 pounds, I would say, of fridge. And so I choose to cut it open the front and open it up, take out the foam out and ready to go. So let's go ahead and continue on with the setup and then we're going to open it up and unwrap it for you. All right, let's take a look at this beautiful fridge. So right now, if you guys see this, this is stainless uh, grips. Uh, it looks like the old fashions, 1950s, 1960s Coca-Cola uh, fridge, pretty much. It's, it's, it's short. It's not that big. Like I said, it's one of those, um, it's 7.6 cubic feet of, of square space, but the, the inside, the freezer, let's open it up. The freezer itself, it is only 1.6 cubic feet of space. Of course, removing this, you know, it's simple. Um, very simple to remove back in, in and forth. But the only thing I don't see an LED light in here, I think this is pretty much gonna be dark. I haven't set it on, I haven't hooked it up yet, but my hand, it's all the way to the back and if it's pretty much all the way to my 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 elbow that's pretty much the distance of it uh not that bad it's pretty deep you could fit two turkeys in here um 20 pounder turkeys probably not no more than that uh pretty simple it has a little shelf on the side here where this is plastic made stainless steel on the top too uh actually this is plastic right here it looks like stainless steel but it's plastic this is gonna set you back for a year use. It's gonna use around $46, uh, estimate of $46 of power. Um, it does have a 386 kilowatts. It uses a year. That's pretty much that it's gonna set you back to, that's how the calculation was, that it's gonna set you back $46 a year. So not that bad. Um, it is, let's open the, the bottom part now. So we're gonna open it up. And this one doesn't have a, a push button or anything. It's pretty much, open it and close. There is an LED light in here that we're gonna connect, we're gonna set it up. Um, controls for the freezer and the air, uh, for the, not the freezer, but the actual fridge itself. Now, I didn't see that in the freezer. There is no controls for the freezer. That's a weird one, but this is only the fridge part and we haven't even set it up to actually light it up. This is a little safety mechanism that turns off and on the light pretty much by, it's a simple mechanism that just, just close the door and it just closes it up. Um, shelf space, it has sections, one here, section, two, three, four, five, and this is like, you can move, but this is glass, very simple. Um, it has grips in the back. Uh, the bottom part, if you guys see the bottom part, let me zoom in a little bit out. The bottom part is actually um, a little, case in here if you guys see it you can put a couple beer sodas and there's plenty of room for everything now these shelves here right now they currently have plastic is brand new but these also could be removed for a higher uh, soda uh, you could fit two and three three of them you could probably fit across uh, on the top this is uh, adjustable you there's another level here that you could adjust it so right now we're cutting one two three and four the last level so you could actually take this whole tray and put it one level below um, that's what I'm gonna end up doing right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Love the, I love this old style. It looks really nice and neat. Uh, we're gonna balance it out right now because it's a little crooked. If you guys see it, I'm gonna see underneath if it, you could tidy it up and maybe balance it out so it could, it won't shake too much because right now it's, it looks like it's off balance. If you guys could see it, it's, it's small. It's under five feet or somewhere on, under five feet. Beautiful stainless steel bottom i like that they they set up the whole fridge where 
you actually see these old handles in the old way. So I like black. They have it in two colors, red and black. And I choose black because uh, I wanted to stand out with my rest of my stuff. Ignore my junk here. <laughs> That's my stuff I have in here. But this is where it's going to reside at in my garage. So, All right. We're going to commence here too. I forgot to mention something. So this is the motor in the back if you guys see it. And it's protected by this little cover here for any kind of draining of water. So it won't you know hit the motor or anything out the compressor and if you guys see it looks like there's even an access um access um to add more of the liquid later down the line if you guys can see a little top in there and the copper now the only thing i didn't like about this was that the wire is too short it's about less than three feet uh, so if you want to connect this you're gonna have you're gonna need an extension for this for sure 100 percent but other than that it's not bad underneath of it there's some little rollers that you could actually twist so you could balance it out and have it balance to um, zero out of course you want to do that too because like I said if you're gonna close the door you can have an issue just make sure you close it right properly uh, balance it out so how would you pick up the fridge somebody twists in the bottom while somebody picks the fridge so before you load it up make sure you do that all right that's how it looks with the light on it's not an LED light which uh, I'm a little disappointed because it would last a little longer. So it is a light bulb. You have to buy a little tiny one. Uh, overall, I was able to adjust these uh, trays. There's a drainage storage right here. You guys see it right there in the bottom. So any condensed moisture comes down straight to the bottom to the tray to the bottom. So you guys can see it. This is fully loaded right now. I got maybe four packs of juices for kids in the bottom. Um, uh, 30 36 pack I think is for the sprite and they also took some of it and then there's 30 pack of uh, mini so coca-colas if you guys can see it it's condensing real quick it's getting real cold real quick and I just plugged it in a couple minutes ago um, plenty of space for the minis on the top um, here you will put you could put regular size uh, sodas and uh, of course extra sp space um, I have so much space that I had to actually I'm gonna start moving some of the stuff on this side so I can balance maybe the weight on the thing which makes no difference because um it's 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 already heavy as it is but it's going there and I put a couple of things in uh, no room for water in this one <laughs> because I didn't have no waters right now but we're getting ready for Thanksgiving of course and and these are gonna be gone by the end of the day so just to give you guys a heads up and see how you guys think and you guys can see it fully loaded the only thing I like about it but the fridge it's balanced out and it won't move no more so 